I will come back. All I'm going to say is I might regret the decision of coming here. I'm expecting this to be really bad conditions. Right, I'm recording this towards the end of the ride. I'm not gonna do the usual coming up section uh, and I'll talk about why later. But there's a lot of things happening in this video, so just stick around. Yeah, looking at this, I just hope they are not coming back here to do some more felling because yeah, they did some damage to this fire road again. Sherwood Classic. It doesn't look too bad. Whoa, new line. I'll come back and have a look in a minute. That's a good one. Whoa. Right, so obviously I wasn't paying attention because all that line is is there's an alternative on the Sherbrooke Classic. So instead of going over this jump, you can now take this line which leads you to what it looks like quite a big double so i'm gonna get down there and have a proper look that is a humongous jump this is like four or five bike lengths easy oh maybe you can just drop that and then send that yeah there's no way you can double that i think this is just too close to each other those two features i don't think i'm gonna be attempting that so i'm gonna go back because there's another line look at this new line goody goody it pretty much must be running parallel to Sherbrooke Classic because well, he ain't that much space here. Wow! I'm not sure if there was a line here, but it wasn't. Wow! Wow! Trail pixies never sleep. I'm going slowly just to check what's here. Not expecting any big features, but oh yeah, that's the line with like a steep roll. Not this one. <sighs> wow, what a line. Uh, I'm recording Super View today. So it would be great if you can guys let me know in the comments whether you prefer this to Hyperview because Hyperview does introduce quite a bit of distortion it can get quite disturbing so do let me know They've made a mess again Look at this Ooh. Oh. A purple vein Let's do it Oh, fallen tree New feature is going to be on this trail I reckon uh, what they've been doing here yeah they've been doing more felling I think yeah definitely look at this yeah oh that was a big scent <laughs> I surprised myself oh big puddle Oh, this is a cracking trail right so why have I decided not to do the coming up sections anymore in my videos well every statistics in YouTube analytics just tells me that no one wants to stick around for that occasionally me will put it on but generally we just straight into the action maybe a quick intro for myself and then riding because that's what I really want to do I don't want to do recaps or you know how to whatever else I just want to go and ride my bike and then if you want to watch me riding my bike and get some ideas of where to ride then yeah that's the channel for you so coming up next the steepest trail this side of the chase
came to a bit hot into those two drops oh nice I always struggle with those two trees they're so close together oh, wow good run right I'm gonna do the the jumpy trail just because I like it and I haven't been for a while no, I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna check if anything has changed I doubt it I thought it was gonna come up short on the last one but it's going way slower than normally somehow I was complaining about not riding for three weeks I somehow got a lot more pop after the holiday so maybe I've forgotten some of my bad habits who knows yeah I tend to just attack everything with speed and as we know speed plus jumps it's not a good mix well you need a certain amount of speed but you should have the technique not compensate a lack of the good technique with the, with speed so I know what can I teach you about jumping nothing I can't jump really it used to be called jumpy and bear me so now it's just jumpy <laughs> right I'll ignore this section for the time being and I'm gonna head towards Buller's Wood maybe there's some more surprises there while we on this side I'm kind of committing myself this year to doing this little drop behind me I've seen plenty of people doing it slow, fast it doesn't look that hard to be fair it's just consequential if you get it wrong have enough speed just normal drop technique should be fine so you are my witness I'm doing this this year so this is the line with the big drop at the end oh f hell <laughs> ah, good job I've got the bush guard now this is a lot more wet than the other stuff oh this is so dodgy this bloody feature you have to go over the tree and you go into big dip you just get stuck there yeah this is quite a bit wetter than the other side somehow Ah, it's alright here. It's just a top bit. And there's all this puddle here do some drainage that side yeah. oh, this is a good trail oh, could do with a bam the end after much deliberation I decided I'm not gonna record the footage in log format anymore it's just so much faffing about it I can never get the colors right I actually think I've got it now with the help of a third party add-on but for this it's just not worth it I'm going to be switching to natural profile in GoPro itself but I'm not going to be bothering with color grading really if you want to see a log format recorded on this GoPro uh, from my trip to the US I have a link to my other channel with uh, where I travel with my family uh, I actually started making some videos there it's a log format color graded it looks really nice but there is no sharp movements and that's the that's the killer so yeah check it out if you want now this one's a fairly new addition it looks quite wet Whoa, I forgot that tree so low. Oh dear. 
took, nearly took my head off. Fucking hell. Oh. Bloody hell. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it on this side, come back to the other, do a few more there. While I was riding past this, I kind of changed my mind. I just want to do this roll again, but do it in a slightly different way. All right, so let's just go for it without stopping and taking a look, because I like to do that before I send the feature, but I've done it before. Uh, and this is another part of mountain biking skill, in my opinion, where you kind of anticipate you kind of cross something but you have to react quickly so i kind of remember what it feels like and where i need to point the bike but i just want to go and do it without stopping it might prove to be a mistake but the roll isn't that challenging it's nowhere near on the same scale as the drop so yeah i'm not worried Pretty most difficult making this turn. Ridiculous, yeah. Look, we go. Go on the right hand side. That's it. I got hung up there, I'm not gonna lie. My back was lifting. You see what I do for you? I climb trees. Just a quick shot from the top of the hill to check a few things. So, check Colos because it's a good spot to make sure that this is still acceptable. And it's quite windy and one of the wind mufflers has fallen off again for the fifth time. But does it matter? So that's gonna be another thing to so check. New Sherbrooke Classic next. Whoa! A lot more pop! Oh, a bumpy bit is a leg killer each time. <laughs> oh, good run. I don't know what's going on, but I've struggled at Watchwood last week. You know, didn't feel comfortable on the bike. And today I'm having a blast. So, I don't know, maybe a break is good, but you know, when you get back to it, you need a few rides. I feel like I've progressed just by not riding. So, you know what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna go and have a massive crash. When I'm here with Lee, we keep sort of forgetting about this one and it's quite good. This is probably a trail which I haven't done that many times because you kind of don't go this way into that corner ever. I'm giving myself away with the front brake because if you hear it squealing, it's the front brake. That was a big sand too. This jump is so funny. I nose dive on it each time. Whoa. This roots catch you out each time. Good times. This is the end of the ride. I'm not gonna drag the outro out, but I think I'm having a bit of a breakthrough today. The proof will be in the pudding, so I'll check Strava and just drop a comment to say whether I've improved and by how much, because I'm really, really interested to see. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, as usual. Bye-bye.